Every week, there is a new hype around AI. This week, it was all about Cursor AI. Cursor AI is a hot topic these days as people are thinking that this is the next big thing in AI close to Llama models or I would say the new version of Mistral. In this video, I am going to give you my opinion of Cursor AI what I think about Cursor AI, how to download it, how to install it. At the end of the day, it is a simple code editor. Nothing more, nothing less. It helps you in coding faster. It helps you documenting your code and it makes it easier to do that. I believe one of the main reasons why this is getting so much attention is that it is a fork of VS Code. VS Code is one of the most popular, easiest code editor out there and I totally agree with that. I use VS Code in my day-to-day -day life and I believe that that is one of the best code editor out there. So what these guys have done, they have just forked that VS Code which is an open source tool too and then they have created their own product or they have added this intelligence to that VS Code Instead of adding an extension, they have just rewritten the whole VS Code from um, their fork and then they have integrated it with an AI model. That's all they have done. Whenever there is a new version of VS Code, they just rebase their code and then create a new version of uh, this Cursor AI. That is all they are doing. It is not free at all. There is a free version where you have some of the credits which you can use. And in that one, once the free credit have run out, you get a 14 days pro trial as a hobbyist where you have 50 slow premium model uses. You can even go with some of the completion use cases around 2000, I guess. And then you can upgrade to pro account where you have a bit more uh, leeway. And then you have a business account where you can negotiate with them about the pricing. The models or the premium model they use is GPT-4.0, GPT-4 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet and they're all counted as premium models. And then there are um, some of the slower models, mainly the open source ones which you can access or some of the closed source ones. I believe that the real quality of this AI code editor shines through the Cursor AI, I mean, is with OpenAI's model. It also works well with Anthropic's Cloud Sonnet, but that can become quite expensive very soon. So as long as you patch it up with GPT-4.0 from OpenAI, I think it works best. Now, in order to get started, I would suggest that you just click on this uh, sign in and then you can log in with your Google account or whatever account you want to use. Once you have done this, then you can uh, enter into it so you can see that I am signed in here and it is it has given me some of the 500 fast request um, quota at the moment just as a you know sign in or sign up option and I haven't used any then you can upgrade to pro or business if you like. Now the first step you need to do is to download this from the top right so let me download it. Let's wait for it to get downloaded it's not that big just 120 meg which is quite cool. And then I'm going to run it once it's downloaded. And now let's click on this open file here. It has, it is installing at the moment. So let's wait for it to get installed. It's a typical Windows installation. So while this installation happens, um, let me give a bit more information around other features. Look, the features are very simple. They are code generation, multi-line edit, smart rewrites, cursor prediction, and then you can chat with it. Um, there are a few other things. You can use images, you can ask the web, you can um, document it, and then you can even press few other buttons. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, so you see, now it is asking us um, what you can go with default. So it also works with Atom, Sublime, and this, but I'm just going to go with VS Code, and then other than English, you can go with any other uh, languages, mostly European and I think Chinese, Mandarin and few other languages from Asia. Um, also, if you want, you can just uh, 
get your uh, code base wide so that it converts your code into numerical representations or embedding but let's leave it for now it is going to increase the cost too by the way and then just click on continue here so let's go with privacy mode let's continue and then you have to log in again from here hopefully it will log yep so click here so it automatically logged you in because i was already logged in so you see um, you can accept an autocomplete if you like prompt and edit and if you just go there it says that you already clicked through onboarding so you can just click here and then prompt and edit ask a question chat with your code base and these are some of the tutorials and examples as you can see here so for example this is a bug finder now this is the thing which I really like about Cursoria is that it is so eerily similar to VS Code because most of the world's developers they work on VS Code maybe I'm wrong but that is what I believe and I think this is very intelligent that they have made it so similar to VS Code now for instance if you just click on this code from the example and you just want to I'm just going to cancel it you just want to say something like explaining code you can uh, highlight something like you can just do this and then you can just press Control capital k they already have given it to you so you can just press this is a good thing so edit you can just click Control k here and then you can just edit some of the uh, instruction you can just go up and down for the history or you could just say um, anything like make it in one line and then submit edit and you see it has just put it in uh, one line you just control plus this and then there you go how easy that is so that is why it is so famous again you can just simply just scroll down you can select any code here and then uh, this time you can just do control k which we already did i'll just cancel again this is how easy it is control l you can chat with it um, you can just uh, is it optimal code can you rewrite it and then you can just simply go here it says it is generally fine and these are the changes which you can just apply from here and then after reading through all of it so maybe i'll just say apply says and accept it has been changed how good is that and then you can just click on here and you get your code window back again for example you just go here and then you just start typing print and then press tab here tab is the secret sauce here tab does uh, does so many things here you, it can code complete you and whatever you like so it has printed it how good so i just pressed tab here nothing else and then you can just uh, type uh, you know typing it whatever you like like void and then add to free list enter tab enter so whatever you like it is going to do something for you there you go so um and then you can just simply remove it so these are the major functions here where you can um, sort of uh, edit and prompt you can ask a question you can do the autocomplete you can chat with your code and then okay, sorry let me make sure it goes away and then again you can chat with your code you can just say what this code is doing and then it is going to search for files reading the files and it is going to explain it there you go so add to free list function and it has taken in the whole context in perspective that is a beauty very nice so these are all the things so i think this particularly is useful if you are a vs code developer because it just makes it so easy to migrate your own vs code to this one okay finally i wanted to run this test where i want to find it a logical bug in the code with the help of a model so this code what it does is 
there is a bug in it so the bug is related to thread safety and synchronization it's a simple python code and the bug is here in the get balance one so the get balance method is not thread safe which can lead to incorrect balance readings so what i'm expecting is from the mod from this cursor ai that when i select the whole code it would tell me about this uh, bug and it will try to fix it with the locking mechanism so let me just select all the code and then where is a uh, there you go so i thought it will give me here but it just goes towards and that is fine so let me see ask it is there any bug in the code let's chat with it let's see it says there is no obvious bug so it says no okay is the code thread safe there you go you see you're right to question this upon close inspection there is a subtle thread safety issue in the code the problem lies in the get balance let's examine it and then it says it's not thread safe and then there is a locking mechanism how good is that good catch so but this is subtle but important aspect of ensuring amazing so you can um, simply apply from here or you could just simply go here go up up and then you just go here i just want to see that put it here you see so it's already has pointed us with self dot lock and then i just press tab and there you go so how good is that amazing stuff so it has just given me the proper code here so and once i uh, get out of here it has given me this one amazing amazing stuff so <clears throat> I think I'm very impressed by this tool. No doubt that it is one of the best one out there. But remember, uh, it is using GPT-4 over at the back end. So we also have to give the credit to GPT-4. But I think the reason of success or should I say fame of this cursor AI is the fact that it provides us the experience of VS code with AI powered magic of the LLMs. So that is what it is all doing. Uh, if there is, is there any mode, maybe Microsoft could come up with the same thing in VS Code like this, uh, then I think would we need Cursor AI? I don't know. So I would leave that decision to you. But all in all, real good tool. I would let them enjoy their time in the sun this week. I think for now, as we speak at this moment, hype is right the tool is good what would happen next week i don't know but i'm very keen to hear about you because look um, i know this could be a real uh, religious war here where everyone loves their own tool everyone loves their own coding style so if you're using this cursor ai and you think that this is the best thing ever please share your experience and if you don't think that it's that it deserves that much of hype because of just a cloning of VS Code and adding AI power on top of it. Please share your experience. Uh, would be good to just also see what sort of use case you are using. Or if you think that there is any, any other tool which is doing similar thing or even better, feel free to put it in the comments. By the way, I already have done heaps of videos on various coding extensions and uh, editors. So feel free to check them out on the uh, channel and i'm sure you will like them but yes towards the end i will repeat it one thing i really like about them is that instead of just an extension they have given us a full editor personally i don't like extension so that is why i think uh, i really like the way they have done it another cool thing maybe i'm dreaming how good that would be to integrate it with olama easily anyway if there is any tool or thing which you want me to cover please put in the comments if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.